All right then, how's it going? My name's John. This is the place to be if you love music. Right, I'm going to be picking the best song from each of Kanye West's albums with the intention of picking his very best song overall. John, wait. Yes, you're right. It is you from the future, although the world now knows me as Prophet 22. You will find this nearly impossible. Picking the finest Kanye West song from every album is a Herculean task only reserved for the greatest music channels on YouTube. However, for every moment where you doubt yourself, for every moment where you cannot decide between greatness and greatness and greatness, believe in your heart and what you stand for. You will, you will find the greatest Kanye West song of all time. What's it like in the future? Oh, you'll see. Congratulations for passing Mr. Beast and subscribers, by the way. Oh, and look out for Yeezy STEM Tech version 10, where every individual thought can be customized. Oh, and there's built-in auto-tune as well. Check this out. Oh. I like that guy's hat, but how difficult can it be, really? Come on. Let's do this. How this is going to work, I'm going to use this random name picker website. All the albums are in there, not the collab albums, just the single Kanye West studio albums. By the end of it, when we pick one song from every album, I'm going to pick what I think is the greatest Kanye West song of all time. First up then is 808s and Heartbreaks. Goodness me. Okay, this album, a seminal record for me, a life-changing record for me. I love Heartless, I love Amazing, Love Lockdown with those drums is a stunner. Welcome to Heartbreak with Cuddy. Shame those guys aren't friends anymore. I'm sure they'll sort that one out. I think I'm gonna go with this one with Say You Will, just because the first time I heard that, it had such a profound effect on me. It's still such a standout from this project. Those amazing bleep snares, the kind of ethereal, eerie atmosphere of it. Like I said, at the time, I'd never heard anything like this. More music has gone on to sound like this since, but I don't think anything has quite captured the essence of what this song manages to be. Obviously there's elements of music from the past in there, but it really felt like a complete game changer. It's tough, man. Just thinking about Heartless. No, I'm going to stick with my original thought on this one. Say You Will, the best song from 808s and Heartbreak. Obviously, by the way, I want to see you in the comments. Get your opinions out there. You're more than welcome to yell at me because we're not all going to agree on this one. I can guarantee that. Next up, we have The College Dropout. This is where it starts getting difficult. How the heck do you pick the best song from The College Dropout? Let's narrow it down to a few. All Falls Down is an obvious one. Uh, Never Let Me Down, which is a song that really, really spoke to me when it first came out and seeing how it was recorded on the Genius documentary just took it to another level still. Jay Ivey's like, uh, spoken word verse on this, so powerful. Through the Wire was the first Kanye West song. I heard first Kanye West song, I'm sure so many of us heard. Again, so inspiring, but such an incredible story. Obviously we know the story, we don't need to go into it. We've got Pharrell's first reaction to it, Joe running that little clip there. Yeah, that's, a, that's what I felt, that's exactly what I felt. Which is just was the same as my, my first reaction, but probably my first reaction would have been slightly less impactful on Kanye West, I would have thought. You've got one of my favorite Ye songs of all time in Spaceship. Now, I've told this story before, but I used to work in a job um, working for HSBC in data, basically data entry for HSBC. I did it for just over a year and it was a job where I'd get there for nine and I would just enter numbers into a spreadsheet, just entering numbers, no brain power whatsoever, all day, thousands and thousands of numbers, and it was mind destroying. It was my first proper job that I lasted at for more than a few months, and my goodness, and just hearing this song, walking to work, listening to this song, day after day after day, it was what actually inspired me to, to get out of there and try and change my life and make something and make something of my career. Listen to it again and it's not the best song on the album. I don't think it would be fair to say, despite having a very personal connection. I mean, they're all amazing songs. And Family Business, man. When I first heard that, I was like, hip hop can be something that I didn't realize it could be listening to that song. So many of Kanye West songs are like this, but you go back to them and just within one or two notes of the beginning, it creates an emotional response in you. It certainly creates an emotional response in me. Oh my gosh, this is difficult. This is difficult. All right, I think I've got it. You can do it. Believe in yourself. Through the wire, as good as it is, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, not, I'm gonna write that one off as the best song on here. Never let me down. I'm gonna write that one off as the best song on here as well. Things between family business and all falls down. Oh my god, <laughs> it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible. I'm gonna go all falls down. I'm going to go all falls down, guys, because sometimes in life, two things are just that close and you've got to pick one. And I think all falls down just has an endless appeal that you can listen to in multiple moods. 
Whereas if you're kind of in a fired up mood or an energetic mood, family business isn't going to connect in the same way. And it still sounds fucking amazing to this day, what the whole album does. So yeah, all falls down from the college dropout. That was difficult. Next up then. Donda. Okay, I think, I think this is an easy one for me because I picked a certain song from this album as my best song of 2021. That song is Come To Life by Kanye West. I don't know why I needed to say that part. Breathtaking track. Weirdly, the first time I heard it, and if you go back and watch my first reaction to it, it's actually the biggest uh, video on this channel. You said that song didn't massively connect with me, but that's because the album is so long. And I think by that point, I'd just taken in so much information that that song didn't really connect with me. And remember too, that I hadn't watched the uh, listening parties, the big events, and seen any of it. I hadn't seen that moment with the house on fire and him on fire and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that's why I went on to go and watch the uh, the first listening party for Donda 2 because I wanted to have those moments the same as you guys. Yet, on multiple listens, after seeing you guys in the comments actually talking about this song, I really gave some time to that song in a different way. And it, oh, here come all your problems again. The second that hits, mate, come on now. If that doesn't get you emotional, I don't know what you're made of. Um, Donda's a, an album that's a bit all over the place still and now we've got Donda 2 and the whole thing is kind of feeding into each other and everything that's going on with Kanye at the moment, goodness me, but that song is just proof positive that even nearly 20 years into his like high level on top of the game career, he's still capable of creating these amazing moments. So yeah, that, that, that was a reasonably easy pick for me on Come To Life. Next up then, we have Graduation. Guys, this is, going to, this, this is going to be a problem, man. I thought I was going to be able to do this. Maybe that guy was right. I could see people having arguments about this for months and never getting to the bottom of it. And it's just in one album. Let's talk through some of the tracks. You've got Good Morning. You've got some of the hits like Stronger. You've got I Wonder. You've got Good Life. you got Can't Tell Me Nothing. Everything I Am. Homecoming with Chris Martin. Oh, just think about the beginning of, uh, of Homecoming with the repeated notes and the piano. How joyous is that song? How wonderful is that song? You've got flashing lights, a legendary track. And I had this moment playing GTA 4 on the review. For, I've spoken about this a few times on camera. I was in Rockstar's offices doing the review for GTA 4 in a dark room, sitting three days in a row in front of a massive TV back when like 56 inch TVs weren't even the norm really. And there's a moment in GTA 4, if you've played it, where you have to pick between, I think it's like killing what, Playboy X and maybe Dwayne Gushin, it was a long time ago, I can't remember their names, but anyway, it was a decision you had to make in the game. And I remember driving through the city streets in the rain, in the dark, where this song started playing. And I had the kind of moment that's so rare in video games, like an all-encompassing synesthesia, complete immersion moment. And that song will always, always have that connection with me. This, this is a bloody nightmare. This is a bloody nightmare. Do you know what I'm gonna go for? Shit. Shit. I was gonna go for Can't Tell Me Nothing. And then I was like, no, I can't. I think I'm gonna go for I Wonder. When that piano kicks back in and then the strings kick back in, Joe, maybe you can run a couple of seconds of a clip. We'll try not to get claimed. If you that is just... What an album this is. He was right, wasn't it? This is an impossible task. We keep it Sisyphean over here. We like pushing that boulder up the hill. Love it if you jump down, hit subscribe if you want to join the journey. Up next then. Couldn't you give me a break? Life, I guess this is the task that I've chosen. It's my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. Oh, this is impossible. This one actually is impossible. This one actually is impossible. How the hell am I gonna do this? We've got a system, we've got a bit of a system, we shortlist. So straight off the top, we've got Gorgeous. We've got Monster. We've got Devil in a New Dress. We've got Runaway. There's a bunch of amazing songs on here. Power, All of the Lights. I mean, they're all amazing. I think it's, for me, it has to be between tracks eight and nine. Devil in the New Dress and Runaway. Devil in the New Dress with the Rick Ross feature, with the incredible strings that make you float into the atmosphere with the imagery that it conjures. Runaway, iconic single piano note simplicity, the stripped back nature, the way it brings itself back in, the way the drums come in. You will find this nearly impossible. This is impossible. You can put on either of these songs at any point and you're having, you're having a genuinely visceral reaction to it. Sometimes in life, you just have to make a choice between two impossible options and you just have to back your own choice. And in this situation, I'm gonna go run away. 
feel kind of bad about it, but I think I would feel worse if I didn't pick it. An impossible moment to pick between either of them is go and run away. We're writing it down. We're writing it down. Okay, give me an easy one. Give me an easy one, life. Just for a little break. You joking? You joking? Jesus. <laughs> Why did I decide to do this? Let's shortlist it again. I mean, Gold Digger still sounds as vital and brilliant as it did when it came out. It was overplayed when it came out, but what a moment that was. I'm privileged to have been there for that moment. You have all these songs like Drive Slow, which I've grown to appreciate much more over time. And I think as I've grown more into this genre, especially in the last four years, and really started to appreciate a lot more of the genesis of hip hop, but also a lot more of the stuff that's come after Kanye West's music, I've gained a greater appreciation for this record. I think it was a bit more hip hop, in some of his other early records, you may disagree with me, but that's kind of how I feel about it. You've got Roses, which is a stunning song. You've got Hey Mama, which is a beautiful song um, and has even more meaning now. And then you have a song that I don't think I really appreciated at the time because of the radio edit, and that is Diamonds um, in Sierra Leone. I think the sample felt a little bit too for radio at the time. I just realized I didn't even pick fucking Jesus Walks, did I? I didn't even shortlist Jesus Walks. Do we understand how crazy this guy's back catalogue is? That's a thing that I did. Diamonds of Sierra Leone, which if you go back and listen to the verses on that song, is, is sort of deep and complex rumination of the complexities of wanting to strive towards being able to buy diamonds and you know that being a big part of hip hop culture, but also the reality of where those diamonds come from. And at the time, that wasn't so known as it is now, and it's still something that should be discussed to this day. And there's some really interesting topics in there about his own desire and desire of like black culture in America. I think you combine the fact with that song slaps, like the sample works really well. The beat is incredible. I do actually think that's probably the standout track from the album, even though it was overplayed. And that's something that I typically count against songs, which isn't their fault. It's just the nature of it, isn't it? I think I'm going to have to go Diamonds of Sierra Leone for late registration. But that is not to say that there aren't amazing, amazing songs through this album. Okay, give me an easy one. Give me an easy one. Jesus is King. Okay. I've got one song on here that I quite like. It's Follow God. We don't need to focus on this album very much. This was the record of Kanye in a very strange place. Uh, I think really trying to find who he was at this stage of his life. He's obviously in a different stage of his life now. It's definitely his worst album, but there is some moments on here with the, the production, certainly. Uh, and I think Follow God is, is the one for, from that album. But yeah, we don't need to spend a huge amount of time on it. I don't think that one's going to win the overall poll at the end. Because remember, somehow I have to decide the greatest Kanye West song of all time from this list at the end. Why have I chosen to do this? The Life of Pablo. Um, okay, okay, another tricky one. Pablo has some crazy songs on it, like Father Stretch My Hands, the beginning of that song, the way that the instrumental works, the way it kicks in, is up there with his best work of all. Then the verse kicks in, and I'm like, you just ruined your own song. <laughs> that verse sucks. I mean, it's funny and kind of obnoxious, but like, come on. You've got Famous, which is a fucking amazing song. The production on this album, again, legendary throughout. I really love No More Parties in LA. Uh, Kendrick's verse on there, amazing. I just love the instrumental again, that like the guitar, or is it a guitar? Bang, 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 bang. Joe, we can put two seconds of that in. I don't think we'll get claimed. We'll get away with it. No more parties in LA. But it may well be. I've always said to myself, my favorite song on Life of Pablo is St. Pablo, the song that came after it. And it's actually a song that I didn't hear until about, really honestly, about four years ago, five years ago. I didn't realize it existed somehow. I just missed the news that he had an extra song. Hearing that again, the production, the, the I mean, it's kind of production. They go hand in hand, excellence. I'm gonna pick some Pablo from Life of Pablo. I'm sure some of you are gonna be screaming at me for that one, but hey, it's my choice. Okay, we're down to three records now. It's yay. Um, I'm gonna pick Ghost Town. That's an easy one for me. Uh, that was a song that definitely stood out for me on that album. I've gone back and listened to that album recently, a short little album. Um, underrated, actually. Yeah, it sounds really good, um, especially when you go on to compare it to Jesus is King, uh, the bloat of Donda and Donda 2, as much as I, uh, I like a lot of tracks on these albums, and well, well, hopefully we'll like a lot more tracks on Donda 2 when and if it when it's finished. It's 2032, Donda 2 still isn't finished, don't worry about it. 070 Shake kills it on that song, Cuddy kills it on that song, has this really like, uplifting chorus but at the same time it feels kind of deeply unsettling in a strange sort of way like there's a freedom to it but there's a fear to it as well easy one for me yay ghost town two left then 
Dawn to two. Um, well, it's not really finished yet, but at the same time, it's got to be uh, the standout track for me so far on this album, whether or not or the whole thing will ever get finished or not, we don't know, um, is too easy. I just really like that song. I love the production. I love the vibe of it. I love the energy of that track. Um, it's one that really stuck in my head. I like playing with it with the stem player. Um, yeah, great track. I don't want to speak too much on Donda 2 yet because ultimately it ain't finished and it may be finished. We may never get any more of it, but we've got to assume that he's at least going to finish some of these verses. So we will see. We will see. Goodness knows what's going on with Kanye at the moment. Too easy on Donda 2, which ironically, this has not been too easy throughout this whole process. And finally, we have Yeezus, an album I absolutely love. It blew me away the first time I heard it. You know, I was always a fan of like electronic music, fan of French house, fan of like obviously metal and heavy rock music. So when I first heard, you know, the biggest rap artist in the world at the time, suddenly switching direction after My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy and doing that, oh, it was a revelation. Going back to it as well, a lot of these songs really, really still stand out. And I like the fact that it has just gone on to become one of the albums that people really like from Kanye West. I think at the time um, people were unsure, which I totally understand. It really spoke to me immediately, but you know, I can totally understand why some people were like, I'm not sure about this one. To shortlist it, Blood on the Leaves is definitely up there. New Slaves is on there. Black Skinhead is on there. And um, I'm going to go hold my liquor on there as well. Now, Black Skin Hit is a song that I've just heard so many times, I don't know if I can pick it, which is a bit unfair on the song. New Slaves is an amazing song, how, how kind of the space in between the different elements of the production, how stop and start it is, the subject matter is interesting, especially what he's gone on to create with his life with, with Yeezy and everything like that, talking about, um, you know, materialism, and commercialism and all that sort of stuff. I think the, the sample and the sort of musicianship in Blood on the Leaves is incredible. I've always found it slightly strange that that sample, which is from such a you know powerful and sad song, and the subject of the original song, sort of seems to clash quite a lot with a lot of what Kanye's song is about. Which leaves Hold My Liquor, which at a time when I first heard the record wasn't a standout track for me. I think I preferred the high energy tracks, but now going back, having listened to multiple times. It may be the best song on the album. Now, is it the one I would always go to if I was picking a song from Yeezus? No, I'd probably go to, to New Slaves, to be honest. Uh, or maybe even On Sight, which is sort of like half a song in some ways, but it's so weird. I just love it. I love it when Kanye is kind of raw and open like that because he always brings an obnoxious side as well, especially back then. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go hold my liquor for Yeezus. And that is it. We've done it. I already feel bad about my choices, but. This is the nature of it. I chose to do this. So now I have to pick the best Kanye West song of all time based on this list. And I expect heat, heat in the comments. Be civil, be friendly. It's all just chat. All right, then before I pick this song, uh, let's do a rundown of everything that I picked so far in the order that I did it. We had 808s, we had Say You Will, uh, College Dropout, All Falls Down, Donda, Come to Life, Graduation, I Wonder. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, Runaway. Late Registration, Diamonds of Sierra Leone, uh, Jesus is King, Follow God, Life of Pablo, St. Pablo, Yay Ghost Town, Donda 2, Too Easy, and Jesus, Hold My Liquor. Okay, let's eliminate some of these straight away. We're getting rid of Too Easy. We're getting rid of Ghost Town. We're getting rid of Follow God. Well, they're the easy ones to get rid of straight away. Right. Is Say You Will gonna make it as... <sighs> Move on. All Falls Down, Come To Life. Do I think that's Kanye West's best song of all time? Honestly, deep in my heart, I don't think I do. As much as I love that song and it's a magical track, I don't think I think it's his best song, so I'm gonna take it off the list. I gotta be brutal, it can only be one. I Wonder isn't gonna make it, and now I'm actually regretting my choice for that song. Oh God, because would have a different song from Graduation be sticking in this list longer? They, saw, they all seem different when they're up against different tracks. What have I done? We move. I don't think St. Pablo hangs here. Amazing song. I don't think it hangs here. I don't think Say You Will hangs here. I'm going to get rid of it. All right, we're down to four. All Falls Down. Run Away. Diamonds of Sierra Leone. Hold My Liquor. I don't think Diamonds hangs here. Am I saying Hold My Liquor is a better song than Run Away? Am I saying Hold My Liquor is a better song than All Falls Down? I'm not. Fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I reckon I could do this all again and come out with a different result. Or maybe I couldn't. Maybe I couldn't. All falls down or run away. Or family business. 
Should it have been family business and not all falls down? Should it have been devil in a new dress and not run away? Fuck. I almost flipped a coin then, but I'm not going to do it. I've got to stand by my beliefs and at least make a statement for this video. Prophet22 warned me. He said it was impossible, but he said I could do it. And I got to believe in my future self. You will find this nearly impossible. Picking the finest Kanye West song from every album is a Herculean task only reserved for the greatest music channels on YouTube. Fuck it. Hey, it might be a predictable one, but my pick for the greatest Kanye West song of all time is Runaway from my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. Let's get the heat in the comments. Let me know which artist I should do this with next. Please do consider subscribing. Let's get that 400K as quickly as possible. We're all here for this journey. Oh my goodness. Love you all. Laters.